Hi guys, it's a day one now. Lord Jesus Christ, well I know tomorrow's my last full day and then obviously leave on Thursday. Um, so basically what I'm going to kind of do is um, today is blockage filmage. So basically go and film some footage again, do that. Um, <clears throat> what I've decided now is I'm going to keep the video short and sweet and then I think I mentioned this, you'll see this in the video. I filmed last night, which will be probably the third video well, when I get back, and then like now. So, the idea is I'm going to film introduction to each day, film a tiny little bit, film if I have anything to eat, and then basically any other scenery or anything like that. Film, film, film. The idea so today is I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out, just have a walk, just have a newsy, make sure I've got everything that I need present wise and stuff um, like it's kind of one of those things suitcase is pretty much packed there's only a few central items just like t-shirts I'm wearing for the next couple of days don't need to go in so basically I am pretty much prepared <coughs> um, I need to speak to the owner of the building to see if they'll let me stay in the room because the weather on Thursday is going to be goddamn awful um, saying that I might need to change your clothes for that out in case because Thursday the weather is meant to be really really bad I'm expecting delays on the flight which I'm hoping not because I'm using <laughs> public transport when I get back my idea is I'm going to get the bus and then get the tram and whatnot and do it that way at home <coughs> but if the scenario is what's going to happen the weather, you know, if it's true, it's going to be thunder, and that can cause delays. And the simple fact is, we could not be, we might not even be taken off until like twelve o'clock at night, or you know, agreed time, and you know, and then that just causes more and more problems. But hopefully, fingers crossed, that won't happen. So, guys, yeah, I'll just film what I film today. Update you at the end of the day. Going for something to eat later, maybe. I'm not hungry. This is the thing with me at the minute. I'm really not that hungry. Uh, but I'm gonna try and go for a meal because, like I say, in the last few days, um, you've got to do it properly, aren't you guys? So I'll be back in a bit. Right, so this is the boring part of the video. I am generally now waiting to fill in my paperwork to go back to England. <sighs> you have to do it 48 hours before you leave the country. So the simple fact is, 48 hours before I leave the country, I fly Greek time, 7:05. PM. So the simple fact is I now have to wait at the minute probably about another 45 minutes for I can even consider getting ready and getting out. The simple fact is I understand why they want to do this. I understand why you need to do this. But the simple fact is why can't you do it instead of 48 hours, just say, right, two days before. So the simple fact is, I could have done this first thing this morning, but no, I've got a time limit to do it, and it is annoying because I want to get out. I want to go out because I've got everything, yeah, everything ready, paperwork-wise, um, that I do need to do, you know, show proof of uh, vaccination, everything like that. And, yeah, this is just the annoying part. Hopefully next year they'll look into it and say, right, but the Greek one, it's so much easier. I did mine six months ago, or whatever it was, whenever I did it, you know, for example, but I could have done it six months ago, and it would have done, but no, the English, but the way that the concept is and everything like that, I understand things change, but the way that the English are, they just leave it last minute, pretty much, and it's annoying because I'm wasting time now, I want to go out, I want to go and have a nice lovely meal, um, I said I was going to go to Greek village, Greek, um, Greek village, whatever, but I've decided I'm not. I'm going to go to a restaurant I went to last year. It's off the main strip, past Three Brothers, uh, Three Pigs, sorry. It's past Three Pigs, sorry. And I went there last year with Owen hey, on his final night. So if you do want to go back, you can also go and see that, but I will just film what I get. There's no point in me filming the menu or anything like that. Um, the price will change if I know it's different in the price, but yeah, we'll just take it from there. I'll try and get some 90-90 shots. 
And then we'll just see where we go from there. So guys, I'll be back in a minute. So I did it how I did it last year, that fucking form, right? And it's now telling me it's the time that you arrive back in the country. So the simple fact is, now I've got to do that in fucking two, what, two hours time, maybe three hours time. Fucking hell, fuck the government. So after that, I, uh, yeah, finally had that. Left it too late for me, but gonna go and find some food. That, uh, I'll update you when I get them here. Thanks very much, guys. I will invest in steady combat nature. That was amazing as per usual. I didn't show the menu, there was no price increase from last year. Look back to last year for that video. That went another way. <laughs> yeah, I just have to be careful. The guy was like swinging karate kicks around, so I was like doing the typical English thing. My back was up. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to prepare. There's no need for that though. There's no need for that. I will um, actually talk when I get back to the room, I think. I'm having one of them days again. So, back in the comment, update. Um, I've got the room till I leave, basically. I said to, I went to speak to Chrissy and when I was coming back, I was going to wait till tomorrow, but as I was coming back, she was outside doing something in the outside area and I asked her and I said I do apologize um, is it alright I explained the scenario I'm not getting picked up till two half two and she went no that's fine and I was like okay do you want any extra money you know come knock on the door in the morning before I go out and I'll sort you some money out no that's fine so I appreciate that if you guys ever get the chance this apartment come here because they deserve that they're gonna be like that. I know some hotels are funny about that. I know some hotels are bought, and I know some hotels are struggling at the minute. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate that. I was willing to pay, and you know, they're kind enough to sort that. No catch. Come here next year. I think that that's what I'm gonna do next year. Anyway. It's one of the things that I've been thinking about is if to book independently again. 
and I'm thinking it is a better decision in a way because you get more of that freedom depending on your flight. But I'll go into that in another video when I get back. So that meal today was lush. Um, tomorrow I'm going to get my tattoo done. Um, then basically do a lot of filming. So you guys will see a lot of what you've seen already basically. But you know, stuff's happened while I've been on air, out here and mentally, you know, I'm feeling good now. I sorted the PLF form as well, going back to England, sorted it out, um, that out, that was just a massive fucking ball ache. The government needs to sort out that out though, and that is me being me. The government need to sort that out. The simple fact is the Greek one's basically like blah 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 blah, blah blah blah, blah, done. English one, you have to jump through fucking hoops basically to get back into your own country. But no, I'm not, I'm not going into I'm not going into a discussion government how government things are and anything like that. But yeah, um, guys, it's just been a normal relaxed day. Getting ready to hit the shots in England, ready for the rain tomorrow. So guys, I will see you all later. Thank you very much and thanks for watching. Adam Patrick from Wrestling Nerds. I'll see you all later. Bye.